even bigger than you are. Sure, my Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding and today I'm going to be training some arms. Now it's important to note that in this workout itself I had already uh, finished legs before this arm portion so this is really just showing you half of my workout but the interesting part of the, about this workout is that Kyle Murphy actually jumps in to do some triceps with me so him and I start doing some triceps there at the end so I share a few tips that I found that helped me along the way to train triceps and I show you some of the things that I'm doing right now in order to hit my triceps a little bit better so stay tuned and uh, hopefully you'll learn something. As you can see, I'm starting off with some incline curls. Now, it's no secret that this is my favorite bicep exercise. I find it hits the brachii much better than any other movement because it does stretch that brachii as the first priority. So I really hit that muscle belly in the bicep. Now, a lot of people, when they're training biceps, they're really training forearms in most cases. And uh, I'm gonna be moving up in weight. Lately, I've been doing heavier incline curls. I used to do quite a bit of weight on these and I'm slowly starting to move my way into heavier weights. And it took me some time because of the dislocating shoulder injury that I got 10 years ago or whatever, there's a certain amount of laxity in the joint and the bicep has to stabilize that joint but through training and through constant uh, working the motion with lighter weights now it seems like I'm able to start working with some heavier weights as well and I'm really keeping that tension on the bicep and I'm not getting any sort of shoulder inflammation or anything from it so sometimes you just got to rep out and adjust your technique as you go and at some point everything just seems to just fall into alignment you know what I'm saying so as I continue to push myself with the bicep curl and get into heavier pounders and stuff I can see that my biceps are starting to respond and I'm starting to get some uh, some size back actually some more size than usual so it's great so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress there so if you guys haven't tried incline curls I highly recommend it and like I said I go heavy and sometimes I go light I believe in high reps and low reps so uh, no matter what workout you see me doing I do change things up from time to time and I even change the angle I change the angle of attack once in a while sometimes it's a steeper incline sometimes it's a little bit more shallow and that's really what makes this game fun is that there's always a different angle of attack or a different way that you can stimulate the body and sometimes Sometimes it's through finding that magic angle or that magic way of performing an exercise you can actually get dramatic results compared to just doing the same thing over and over again. Now one thing I want to talk about is inspiration and sometimes it doesn't matter what you're doing in your life sometimes you lose inspiration or you gain inspiration but what I found is that people can be an incredible source of inspiration and when I started this YouTube channel it was about inspiring people to believe in what they could achieve naturally in their physique and how to enjoy the relationship with the body and the funny thing is is that sometimes people come along and inspire me more than I probably ever inspired them so thanks to any of you out there who are sending me some positive vibes you know some positivity or whatever or leaving positive comments Kyle Murphy's one of these guys that's real positive too so you're gonna see I'm gonna be training with him here and uh yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's say let's go 25 ish and we'll add a bit of weight. I think 25 is a good high rep. Whatever, whatever you want to do, man. I don't know. I am just feel like you're just about to hit your prime in the next couple of years. I just hit my prime. No, that it works. Ten. Yeah. Twenty. Thanks, buddy. So where Thanks, were you, buddy. Where were you on the bar here? Like pinky on the nerve? Yeah, but, I, but I'm much shorter than you are. Yeah. So Got to count for your perfectly short little arms. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know if you noticed. I'm a little shorter than you are. So you're there. Cause yeah, this is kind of where I've been going. But I'll go. I'll go two figures in. I'm waiting for that <laughs> angle there. You like that? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Now there's lots of different ways to do close grip bench press, right? So some people do close grip bench press in order to increase their bench press. So they wanna basically improve that lockout. Other people do close grip bench press so they hit the triceps, right? So it depends on what your goal is. Uh, depending on what your goal is will depend on how you do the close grip bench. So right now I'm touching my chest and I'm making sure I touch my chest because I'm noticing that I'm hitting a different part of my tricep by doing so at this point and it's not putting any extra stress on my joints and of course I have my grip wide enough so that I'm not 
bending my wrists funny or putting too much pressure on the elbows. So you have to basically be conscious. This is why Kyle and I are doing the close grip slightly different because we're both accounting for the way our bodies are built. Just time that beat perfectly, didn't you? That's right, yeah. yeah. Came on for you? That's what I do, that's what I do. I don't go all the way up. Well, when you go all the way up, just the way the shoulder rotates around the joint, you'll start to bring in more front delt and you don't necessarily get more tricep from locking out because then the chest starts to get more involved as well. So this range of motion I find hits the tricep and keeps the tension on the tricep perfectly for me. This might be slightly different for you, so you have to kind of experiment and see. Wow. Oh. I'll do the same weight this time and then okay. when I notice that I start hitting failure, then I'm just gonna pause on my chest for a minute, okay. take a rest, and then try to get some more rest pauses okay. going, you know? So deal. So uh, push deeper in that failure. Get these puppies, gotta, gotta grow these puppies up! Gotta grow these puppies up! Alright man, let's do this. What's he got left? Let's see. Ten! Wow. 20. Eight. 30. Go. Awesome, oh, let's go. Go. Wicked. Come on, right? Two fingers you in. You always two fingers in? Always two fingers in. All right, thank you. Two fingers in. You heard it. What's the next t-shirt? Two fat notes of stuff. Two fingers in.
25 for me and one for you. Alright. Cool. Shit, man. That's a good run up to try some That's crazy. Thank you. That's that. I like that. Yeah, that was good. I just started doing this literally last night. I started doing this. So I was like, I'm trying to hit my triceps different. What am I going to do? Yeah. Different, you know? I love that, yeah. I love low incline because high incline it's almost like you're chasing the bench because it starts to go. Yeah, I think this is too high or this is good. It's pretty good actually, I think it's pretty Let's good. Let's try that. As long as it doesn't tip over on you. <laughs> now what I found for me yeah. is that I had to bring the elbows way back. Way back, okay. okay. Like way back, like right. right. I don't want to do too much, so more of a yeah, break down. Like okay. And they just straight to here. And okay. Then, yeah. That's what I found really helped the tricep. Right, okay. But you almost get a bit of a stretch to the lat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, to a point, yeah. It'll definitely depend on your, your insertions and stuff, right? So you gotta find out what works for you, of course, but... How's that joint angle there? That feels so right. Pretty good. Where are you feeling majority tension right here? Yeah, right there. Okay, then, yeah, that's what I think we Pump and stretch principle. Pump and stretch principle. Doing. Pump those pumping up with that press down and the full stretch and then stretch it out. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh! I tried reaching her back in the end there, I was like, oh! <laughs> so that's something you want to do too extreme. It's like, it's always about finding a happy medium. Right? Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, and you're way up the bench, okay. Cool. Yeah, because elbow wise, you're still more or less almost straight up, maybe a touch back. Yeah. That's good. Good, rest, good, rest. good job making them look like fucking eight pounders. Nothing, man. It's like they look like 30s for me, but it looks like eights for you. Because I used to look at my hair. <laughs> yeah. Come on, bud. I can't even remember what the name of the song is, but I made it. I can't even remember what I call it. Sounds like the last paradise. Yeah. More or less straight up here, right? Eh? Yeah. Right there. Depends on, like you said, wherever you're feeling the most stretch in the tricep. You can bring them back a little bit, but if it feels too extreme, then don't do it, obviously, right? Like, it's a matter of where you're feeling it. If you're feeling it in the belly, then that's what you want. But... Said I was a spark of bodybuilding, and Kyle said I'm a lot of things of bodybuilding. I don't think that was a compliment. I think he was. I think he was insulting me. I think. I think he was insulting me. Yeah, no, pretty much for sure. Yeah. Sometimes I don't want to. I don't want to go up and weight too much with isolations, depending on the situation. And you lose your groove. Then I'm actually not even actually working the muscle I want to hit because right. now I'm bringing in other body parts to try to get that muscle up, right? So get the rep up. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's cast out there. No, that's all right. It's funny because it feels relatively even, and I'll look in the mirror and it's right there. I think a good tip I could give you on these incline skull crushers is that you want to try to keep the elbows in. Not totally in, but as in as you can, okay? Because this will transfer the stress to the long head of the tricep, and that's really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hit that long head. So yeah, I hope that helps you out. Jason, good job, man. Beauties, beauties. Yeah, come on. <clears throat> Stop. You more here? Now I need to do one more because my last So as you can see, Kyle and I applied the pump and stretch principle, which means you pump up the muscle group and then you do a stretching movement after that. So that's what this incline tricep uh, skull crusher is or tricep extension, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the fact is that sometimes you'll notice that there's a slight imbalance between two arms. Uh, my arms are slightly imbalanced as well, sometimes because one shoulder is sitting differently in the joint than the other. And you'll notice that Kyle has his left arm is a little bit weaker than the right. Uh, based on probably an injury he had in the past from hockey and stuff. So this is totally normal. So just sometimes you might feel the need to lighten the weight or whatever, and that's about it. And as you rep out, you'll notice that the two sides will balance out a little bit. But thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout, and take care for now. That's right. There it is. There it is. Let's get Kyle. Oh, Bye. Bye, Kyle.